Hello everybody and welcome to another JetSim flight video. Uh, another update here on the Embraer 145 simulator project that we're doing. Quite a bit done here on the main instrument panel. Uh, we have the uh, main face basically uh, attached and glued together and it's also stapled. And uh, these little slots, these are going to be where the, there's going to be some uh, LED lights that I'm going to, the mount in here uh, with some, against some white plastic. So it's going to kind of wash the, the light out a little bit. Uh, so it'll be a little bit uh, more like the real thing. Uh, and I got the controls set out here for the, um, uh, this is where uh, the weather and uh, the VOR selectors, the different kind of nav uh, selectors go. Mode control panel here, and, uh, and then again on the captain side, same thing. And uh, we got a little hole here in the back, and this is for like all the cables and wires to go down to the cards, which I'm going to have like a basically a little pull-out shelf where the cards can kind of come in and out, and um, on some drawer slides most likely. Um, so here it looks from the underside, so you can get an idea of how far it comes out here. I'll put, put my hand against it, so get an idea of about how far it comes out. Um, pretty cool. Looks amazing when you compare it to, uh, you know, our our uh, single seater that's back there. As you can see, the workshop here is a little a little messy. I just got done cutting some uh, a panel for the flight management computer, the FMC or CDU, depending on which one you want to call it. Um, and then you might see part of a structure here, uh, some posts here, here, and here. That's the beginning of our uh, curved screen that we're going to be putting together. Uh, this is just the first three posts. Uh, I'm going to need several more because it's a little flimsy at this point, but uh, should be pretty cool. Um, essentially, it's just a... Um, I think I did a seven-foot... Uh, circle basically so that's the size that it is and that should be perfect for outside the front of the sim should give about 120 degrees of view if I remember correctly um, so let's go check out something else that I uh, just not got done doing and here it is uh, you had seen in one of the previous videos I had done the uh, done the FMC this top panel here and uh, I don't remember whether it was painted or not, but um, either way, uh, it is painted now. And uh, it's got a nice little matte finish on it. And I accidentally dropped some things on it when it was still a little wet. So I have to do a better job of uh, handling things when I'm putting them together. Um, some things I don't like about how I did the design on this. I I'm not really a huge fan of this 45 degree chamfer that I did on this side. These little button pieces here. Or this inner edge here. I think I'm going to do another one uh, just with straight edges to be honest. It's it's a little not really what I wanted. So I'm going to redo that but it's still pretty good. Here is the middle panel basically. Um, it's kind of hard to see because well it's clear. Um, but I'll try to hold it in the, the sunlight here so you can kind of see the outline of it. And you'll notice that all of the slots are squared and the reason for that is when we put the uh, CDU panel together with this panel, and I got to make sure that I turn it the right way, because there is a very specific way that it goes, and I'll explain why. So here you may notice um, this specific spot here; it's a little different shaped than the uh, the rest. That's because right here is a uh, rotary encoder is going to go there. That's for uh, doing the brightness and whatnot, and I decided I'm going to use a rotary encoder to do so. Um, but so you can see here, we have these round holes for the numeric buttons. The problem with having round buttons is they will spin uh, against anything that's there. So we don't want the buttons to spin. So what what I did was I designed this second panel, which will have a backing to the round button. And those two pieces will be glued together. The, the little square piece, there will be a square, and the round circle will pop through the circle part. But the square piece will help keep the number squared on the uh, around the other side. So I did that with all of these, even the square buttons, 
And really it's just to kind of keep the buttons from like wiggling around and and being kind of cheap looking. So, so and then we have the smaller buttons here uh, for the, the, the left and right buttons. And up here we have the, uh, this would be like the indicator lighting area. So this will have a whole little um, LED uh, backlit piece to it as well. So there you have the uh, FMC CDU, at least the first two panels. I have one more panel to cut out uh, for the pieces that are actually going to be seen. And then uh, to work with the 7-inch LCDs that I got, I'm actually going to make a special panel that's going to hold that LCD uh, as opposed to the one that's going to that I'm hopefully going to find one that's the real size here. Um, so that will be a whole other panel that I'll have to build and design, but we'll get that done as well. Uh, one other thing I wanted to share with you, and that is that uh, I did manage to get the screen at least hung up, and as you can see from it being folded uh, from the last video, it does have a little bit of a checkerboard pattern on it, so I'm going to have to take it down and probably iron it uh, on the back side, of course, as the instructions indicated uh, to get these lines out because that's a little annoying. Um, I guess when they did the, do the folded box it's supposed to be stretched really tight so these lines would naturally come out over time um, and eventually we will be stretching it but for the time being I think what I need to do is to just kind of iron it out uh, mostly because I don't want to wait for it to, to get rid of the lines because I want it to be nice and smooth right off the bat. So that's all we have for today. Uh, thank you again, and I hope you'll uh, subscribe below. Ask me any questions you would like about the sim. If it's not something that's some proprietary thing that I'm uh, working on, then I'll be happy to share the, the details with you. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.